Putin of Russia warns the New World Order is being dismantled and nobody can sit out the storm, the New World Order dismantled and will be replaced with an order that is based on justice and law that is respectful of all, according to Russian President Vladimir Putin, who used an address at the annual meeting of Valdai Discussion Club to promote his vision of a multipolar world. Putin's wide-ranging speech encompassed topics as diverse as future world order, biodiversity, and cancel culture, quote-unquote, and was followed by hours spent answering questions from members of the audience. Here are some key takeaways from that speech. Cancel culture is a cancer. Intoxicated by their sense of superiority, liberal elites seek to destroy or cancel those who are different to them. Where Nazis burn books, the Western guardians of liberalism progress now ban Dostoevsky and Tchaikovsky, Putin said. Liberal democracy, which was one based on toleration of different ideas, has transformed into something unrecognizable, Putin added. The so-called cancel culture destroys anything that is alive and creative, eradicating freedom of speech and crushing culture, economics and politics. History, of course, will put everything in its place, Putin said, adding that the arrogance of those who seek to cancel them is off the charts, but no one will even remember their names in a few years while Dostoevsky and Tchaikovsky and Pushkin will endure. Liberal hypocrisy? Liberal elites in the West insist their culture and worldview should be universal, Putin said. They behave as if these values must be unconditionally accepted by everyone, everyone else. It's a case of rules for thee but not for me. Yet when some other countries, notably China, began benefiting from globalization, the West immediately changed or completely cancelled many of the rules it long insisted were set in stone and sacred, Putin said with free trade, economic openness, fair competition, and even property rights suddenly forgetting, forgotten at once completely. As soon as something becomes profitable for themselves, they change the rules immediately on the go in the course of the game. The new world order is being dismantled, he said, we're standing at a historic milestone ahead of what is probably the most dangerous, unpredictable, and at the same time important decision since the end of World War II, the West is not able to single-handedly manage humanity, but is desperately trying to do it, and most of the peoples of the world no longer want to put up with it, Putin said. Conflicts arising from this period of change are threatening the entire human race, and resolving them is the most important challenge of our times, according to Putin. No one can sit out the coming storm, which has acquired a global character, Putin said. Humanity has two choices either to continue to accumulate a burden of problems that will inevitably crush us all, or try together to find solutions, albeit imperfect but working, capable of making our world safer and more stable. What a multipolar world should look like? In a truly democratic multipolar world, any society, culture, and civilization should have the right to choose its own path and socio-political system. If the U.S. and Europe have that right, so should everybody else. According to Putin, Russia also has it, and liberal elites in the West should back off because no one will ever be able to dictate, he says, to our people what kind of society we should build on and what principles. The biggest threat to the political, economic, and ideological monopoly of the West is that alternative social models may arise in the world and would be more effective and more attractive. He said, above all, we believe that the New World Order should be based on law and justice, be free, authentic, and fair. The future world order is being formed before our eyes, and in this world order, we must listen to everyone, take into account every point of view, every nation, society, culture, every system of worldviews, ideas, and religious beliefs, without imposing a single truth on anyone, and only on this basis, understanding our responsibility for the fate of our peoples and the planet, to build a symphony of human civilization. And this is by Baxter Demetria Newspunch. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.